Hey everyone, this is John Schneider with Fargo 3D Printing here at CES 2017 and I am standing with Joseph Prusa here in the Prusa Research Booth. And so Joseph, can you tell us a little bit about what 2016 has been like for you and where you see 2017? <laughs> well, obviously it was very crazy with uh, Mark II, we, which we released in May. Uh, since then it became like the <laughs> holy grail of 3D printing, you know, which culminated in uh, it being at the cover of the make. That that was pretty pretty great, but with all the reviews, it just like crazy. We grew ten times again this year, so we now have 90, 90 people. Wow! Yeah, and right now we are selling like three thousand printers a month, which is which That's is incredible. stupendous. Yes. <laughs> and so then you also. So the printer behind us has that four filament extruder. So can you talk a little bit more about that? Uh, yes, yeah, so it's uh, the multi-material uh, upgrade. Okay. Uh, it uses four drives and one nozzle. Uh, we installed goggle eyes on this one, but it, it will not come in the kit. So, <laughs> so please don't, <laughs> don't complain that you didn't get goggle eyes. It got a little bit delayed because we had some troubles when, uh, when beta testers uh, ran uh, poor filaments. So we, uh, we solved this by including uh, Bontech drive gears. So each of those extruders has uh, Bontech drive gears. And it will come with every, every single multi-material upgrade, which is kind of great. I'm really happy about the cooperation with Bontech. And yeah, it's uh, going to start uh, shipping at the end of January. Okay. And we'll see. So I know this is something that I've, o I've always wondered about. The Prusa i3 is kind of viewed as the gold standard i3, but there's a lot of other companies out there that make i3s or i3 knockoffs. So how, how do you as a company deal with that? Or, or is it something you even are concerned about? Well, well un until they start selling, uh, until they start sending people to us to get support, it's fine. I mean, I take it as a form of advertisement. I mean, it's open source. Some of other com some of the other companies they contribute something. They don't always uh, make it available as open source, but I mean, uh, we can take it back. And yeah, I I think if uh, if the original is not affordable for someone, I mean, if you are a college student and you can't afford the original, you, you, you get the clone. You will spend more time on it. But when the time gets right and you start a job, uh, then you probably are going to end up with the original. So I take it as a form of advertisement. If I would be sad for every clone, I, I think it would be miserable. It would be very, very, yeah. very sad, yeah. yeah. Very cool. So I guess what do you see happening in 2017? Or do, just continuing with the Mark II, are there any, uh, any other improvements besides the Mark II and the multi-material extruder? Uh, well, I guess what I can say that we will get a refreshed model in 2017, right? But we also want to go um, into another branch of printers uh, because, well, the Mark II prints really good and we know the technology and we know how to make the printers. But some of the more industrial guys reach to us and say, hey, we can't have this in our manufacturing facility. So uh, raise the budget a bit and make something sturdier and maybe with a bigger build space. But with, with, you know, it won't be for makers. So we want to try to approach this market and yeah, and expand. So still using the same type of uh, same type of motion system, like the like the i3, the same type of gantry system. Or are you looking at uh, different kind of type of motion control? Well, we, we are not set on the final final design yet. So that is, you know, that is wishful thinking. Right now, right now everything um, gets. Uh, I mean, until we saw, well, how to say, it? we still have long lead times for the Mark II. So we need to scale up first, so we can comfortably make these. Sure. And we are moving at the uh, at the end of March. The whole company, as I said, there's 90 of us. So when when we when we are quite set up in the in the new office and the Mark II situation is uh, solved and we can make you know enough, then we can start thinking about designing a new printer because yeah. Well, very cool. Joseph, I want to thank you for taking your time talking with us. Uh, looking very forward to seeing what 2017 brings right. for you. And I mean. Great, great job on, on making the cover of Make Magazine, and congratulations okay. on the quality of the printer. It, it's really nice. Thank you very yeah, much. Thanks. Bye-bye. And we Just already sure. draw blood. 
I've done that before. Not this year. I did it last year, though. I, I'm ready when you're ready. Okay.